everyone, it's Mrs. Monin and welcome back to my room. Today we are going to be talking about QR codes and how we can use them to progress monitor. So if you're ready for this video, I will catch you on the flip about all of the information you need to know how to do this. All right, hey guys. So what we're gonna be doing today is we are going to be creating QR codes that can help us keep track of our progress monitoring. Now I'm a special education teacher in Indiana and I have a huge caseload. So when it comes to progress monitoring, I'm not the only one who collects this data. I have my aides help me, and sometimes I even have the classroom teachers help me. But what ends up happening is when it comes down to putting in that data at the end of the nine weeks, I always end up stressed, confused, lost, and completely overwhelmed because I lost track of the paperwork that they were keeping the data on, um, it might be within all of my graded pa grading papers, and I'm just super confused. So what I've decided to do this year is create my progress monitoring in a digital way. And I'm going to share with you how I'm going to do that. So before we get started with creating the QR codes, I'm using the QR codes in connection with Google Forms and Google Sheets. So before we can create the QR codes, we have to go create our form first. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you so that you guys can see how I go about all of this. So if you have never created a Google form before, you have to start by going to Google. On Google's page, if you're signed into your Gmail account or Google account, you'll have a little circle right there. That's my homepage. And beside it is Google Suite. Google Suites has a whole bunch of uh, information that I hope to tell you guys about one day. But to create a form, you have to go to the drive, which is the colorful triangle. Once you're in your drive, you need to create a form. So you click on the Add New. And the forms are the purple ones. So you click the one that is purple and it brings you to a page that looks like this. Forms are great for creating online quizzes, online surveys, um, really anything that you want to get data from that could be a test related, it's a great way to do that. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start off by naming our form the student's name. And underneath it, I'm going to add progress monitoring. This just allows whoever is doing this to know what this page is just real quick. Sorry, I was doing touch screen and now I got to change it. Okay. And then under the question, the first question, I'm going to type in their goal. Now what I would do if a student has multiple goals, I will put all of their goals in one. And so for this one, I would put in, let's say they're doing sight words. I might say, how many sight words were read correctly? So I would still have to provide whoever is doing my progress monitoring the assessment part but I would have the data in my drive, which never goes away, like I can't lose this. And the answer type that I want them to give me is a short answer. So they can type in the number that the student correctly answered, correctly read. Um, and then from here, we're gonna put responses and we're gonna um, add the destination of the response. So I'm gonna give myself a click on the three dots and I'm gonna select response destination. And here, I'm just going to leave it. I'm gonna make a new spreadsheet and I'm gonna put the student's name again. And I'm gonna click create. So I have my form and I have its destination where it's going to go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna create the QR code. And that is super simple. You're gonna start off by adding a new tab I'm going to share that with you now. And all you have to do is you need to search QR code generators. I've already done this a few times. 
I would suggest not clicking on any of the ad ones. Um, just as a good um, digital citizen, those are always the best. Um, they get they pay to get that spot. So you just need to be on a good lookout. And we're going to go ahead and just click one of these. Um, some of them you have to sign in to sign up for. I've worked with this um, QR code monkey. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the QR code monkey. So this is what the page will bring you to. Um, and we're just, you're going to stay on the first one. So it's URL and it says to enter your content. And it has the URL here. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste your Google Forms URL. So I'm back on the form. I'm going to right click or double click depending on the computer you have. And I'm going to click copy. You can also click control C on your keyboard once it's highlighted to copy something. And then I'm going to go back to my QR code monkey tab. And where their makeshift URL is, I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to paste mine. You can either right click and paste or you can control V on your keyboard to paste. Now they also have um, different ways that you can customize your QR code. So you can color code them. You can add a logo slash an image. So like, I guess if you wanted to, you could probably put like a student's um, face on there maybe. That would be interesting, I guess. Some of them let you write your names on them, which I think would be helpful for you to just keep track of your kids. This one doesn't let you do that. But just the just something to think about. I guess that you could write their name and upload the image. Um, or if you wanted to color code them, you could do that as well. When I print mine off, it's going to be in black and white. So it's not really going to matter if it's color coded or not. But I'm just going to show you how it does change the color. So my school's color is green. So I'm just going to pick a green color. And then you come over to create QR code. It generates the code and it changes its color. And then you can download it and you can print it off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, I'm going to share um, a screen recording of me using that QR code. So Give me one second. I'm getting my phone set up to record this now. So on your phone, you're going to go to your camera. If you have an iPhone, I think it works the same way for an Android phone as well. And you are going to hover over your QR code. And it doesn't have to be digital, it can be a printed off one. And it's going to take you to the form that you just created. And you can insert a score. So on my phone, you guys will see that I'm inserting 45. And my parents could, my aides could put in how many it's out of, but I should know this. Let's just say it's out of 50. And then they click submit. Okay. So once they do that, then what we can do, and I'll present this to you again. Well, first off, we can go to that um, that form. That's what I'm showing you now. And it has one response, and then it's 45 out of 50. So this will be there for you. Um, and then you can click View Responses in Sheets. So once you click the See in Sheets, it will take you to your sheets in your drive. And then it will have the timestamp of when that person did that progress monitoring and add that data point. So you can add that to your IEP along with um, what they got. And the question is right above it. Now, this is great for me because I don't keep all of mine in a form. I put mine into my IEP program under the progress monitoring tab. And then I print off those progress monitoring sheets and send them home. So this is good for me. Now, if you're someone who keeps all of your data to graph it in here, you might have to play with this a little bit more to make it what you want it to be, but you could still graph this. 
so you could fill this could be the question this could be the days and times and your scores so it still works the same um i want to look at what would happen if you would have multiple questions so i added a second one it has a short answer i better change this i want to see what that looks like in our sheets when i do a qr code okay so I'm going to share our sheets. I'm going to scan my QR code again, and I'm just going to put in a data form just so that you guys can see um, what I'm talking about here. So you see what it looks like if you have two goals, because most of our students have multiple goals. So I'm going to put in another um, score just so you can see the timestamp of the first one. And then I'm also going to put in a second uh, answer for the how many addition facts correctly. I'm gonna submit that. So if we're looking at our sheets, it came in almost instantly and now it's broken up. So this column, column B is how many sight words and column C is how many addition facts. So that's what it would look like if you have multiple goals going to one student form. Now, something else that you could do is you could create forms where they type in the students. It's one, it all goes to one spreadsheet for all the kids. They could type in the student's name into the spreadsheet. And then um, they could type in what their goal was or click a goal, you could have all their goals and they have to check box one and then have a short answer. That seems really complicated. I would much rather just have one sheet per student and just put that in a file and a folder inside of um, the category in my drive. I think that's much faster. So that is my video on how to create QR codes and how to um, track progress monitoring using that inside forms and sheets. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. I will try to answer them as quickly as possible. I also plan on showing you more about different um, apps and things that you can use in Google Suites and how you can use them in your classroom. So if you're interested in that, please give me a, uh, cl please click the subscription button so that you can see those videos in the future. Thank you everyone for coming and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Bye.